Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today on this video, I'm going to be making another helpful video about vacuum cleaners. Now, as you can see right here, there are two vacuum bags right here. One is paper and one is cloth. Now, both of these bags fit an Oric XL upright vacuum cleaner, but there's one thing though, like one of them is better than the other one if people didn't even know that. So if you're wondering like um, which one is better, you would have to select the cloth bag. Because the reason why cloth bags are better, because unlike paper bags, paper bags are pretty fragile and they can't really hold all the weight. Like if there's too much dirt in the vacuum, such as like if it fills over, this line that where it says do not fill bag above this line any higher than that it could actually tear the bag out and, and then the dust will fly everywhere and when you open the outer bag which is the part you unzip on the vacuum and then the when the dust flies out you know you can even trigger your asthma if you have asthma problems and all that which you don't want even though it says that you know this is a very good kind of paper bag. Like this one I have here is a vacuum cleaner store brand. So like this is one of the better quality ones. But just like any paper vacuum bag, they still can be fragile. Even if they are designed to actually like um, help keep the air more clean, that's not always, you know, going to work because... I mean, it does filter better than all, than most, you know, paper vacuum bags out there, especially because it's a vacuum store brand. So, but the bad thing is that it's still fragile though, because and if it gets wet, you know, the bag can easily rip apart, just like any paper does when it gets wet and all that. And another thing is that. Um, this bag, for example, like this feature has a self seal on it. So what happens is that when this is pulled, like when you pull the bag out of the vacuum, cause there's a little hook on its bag clip. And when you pull it, um, oh, there we go. It seals the dirt and, you know, keeps the dirt from flying out. But this feature should be on the cloth bag though. Because the cloth bag doesn't have this. Well, because this type, for some reason, doesn't have the self-seal for some reason. Like like all the other cloth bag vacuums do. And should have been on this one. <laughs> but still, you know, paper bags are okay, I suppose. But, but if you have, like, really bad asthma or allergies, I wouldn't recommend using these types. Especially because they can rip. Now, let's move on to the cloth bag. The cloth bag is a lot stronger than paper. Now, with these ones, they don't tear easy, so and they can hold more weight than the paper bag can. And not just that, but, you know, they also can keep the air more clean, too, because the bags are so thick, like, nothing can pretty much escape from these bags like no allergens or whatsoever no germs coming out but with paper bags some things can still something could still escape from it though you won't e but you won't even notice it though and another thing too is that um what else was there like so if the bag actually is like full especially if it actually like goes over the fill line if there is a fill line that is this bag can actually still hold more than a paper bag would. So, like, um, for example, so, like, they're both the same size. So, like, if you fill, like, over here, just like you do with the paper bag, this vacuum can hold more debris, but it probably could still lose suction if it goes above it, the dirt goes above the line, if there was a line, that is, for example... Well, I'm not sure yet, but, or maybe, like, even the cloth bags can, you know, help with the suction power and all that, too. So I think that means they can go over, 
like than a paper bag can. So like you can fill over, like if there was a line on the, on the cloth bag, pretty much. If people are getting, if you're getting what I'm saying, <laughs> and you know, like, but even though cloth bags are a little cost a little bit more than paper bags, though. But it's okay. I mean, because it's not like they're wicked expensive or anything. They can only be like, mm, I'm guessing maybe just a couple of bucks higher, I suppose. It also depends on how much you get to in a pack. So another. So what you should do is that I would always stick it to cloth bags. Like I always use these ones instead of paper bags now, because even though I don't have asthma problems or anything like that. But I do have, like, pollen allergies and stuff like that. And also, because, like I was saying just a little while ago, because these bags hold more debris and all that stuff, and I don't have to empty it as often, or change it often, when the bag gets full and all that. And I won't have to worry about it getting all messy inside. But, of course, the cloth bag must have those self-seal things on it, though, which... I wish I got those tires instead of these ones without the self-seal. <laughs> but they'll still do for now, I suppose. So when you have a bagged vacuum, I would recommend try looking for cloth bags. If you don't know where they are, the best place you can find these is at a vacuum store, like where they repair vacuums and sell parts and all that stuff, or maybe online and all that. And you can get pretty good deals on these, too. So, and, you know, the last... I mean, you can pick up more debris than the paper bags and all that. So, so you won't really have to change the bags so often and all that. Well, I hope this video was really helpful. And if anyone has any questions about this video, please feel free to comment on my YouTube channel for any questions. But be sure it's polite comments, please. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And have a good night.